I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the American Beech. American Beech, Vegas grandifolia, is one of the most distinctive and common trees of the eastern deciduous forest. It is the only species in the genus Vegas in North America. American Beech is a slow-growing, very shade-tolerant tree. It's a long-lived tree that can live up to 300 to 400 years. It is a medium to large tree that grows 70 to 100 feet tall and up to 3 feet in diameter. Grown in an open setting, the tree will have a short, stocky trunk and wide spreading crown, but in a forested setting, it will have a clear, straight, massive trunk and a much smaller crown. Common forest associates include sugar and red maple, yellow birch, basswood, black cherry, eastern white pine, hickories, and oaks. American beech is native to the eastern United States and common in Kentucky. It's the fourth most numerous tree in the state, according to the U.S. Forest Service Forest Inventory Analysis. Although beech is now combined to the eastern United States, except for pockets in Mexico, it once extended as far west as California and probably flourished over most of North America before the last glacial period. American beech is found on a wide variety of soils, but generally grows best in moist, fertile sites. It reaches its greatest size in the alluvial soils of the Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. American beech is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple in form, they're elliptical to oblong and pointed, and they're typically about two and a half to five and a half inches long. The leaves are pinnately veined, which is a type of venation pattern in which the secondary veins run parallel to each other from the midrib toward the edge of the leaf. Each vein ends in a sharp, distinct tooth at the leaf margin. The leaves are shiny green above and pale below, and the leaves are somewhat papery when they feel sort of papery when you touch them. American beech is an attractive landscape tree for all seasons. It has a graceful spreading form, and in early spring the leaves emerge from buds as feathery tassels. In the summer foliage is dense and green, and in the fall it turns a lovely golden bronze. In winter, the tree's other notable attribute is emphasized, the smooth, thin, light gray bark. American beech is monoecious, which means trees will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are on, are on globe-like heads and hang in short, slender stalks. The female flowers are in shorter spikes in groups of two to four. The flowers bloom just after the leaves emerge in the spring, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is an edible nut that's enclosed in a woody husk that looks like a burr. The nuts are relatively small, about one and a half to three-fourths inches long, and they're triangular in shape and shiny and brown. There's usually two nuts in a single burr, but occasionally you'll find three. The nuts mature in one growing season, somewhere between September and November, and the seeds will begin to fall after the first heavy frost, which causes those burrs to open, and seed drop will be complete within a few weeks. Most of the seed drops will, seeds will drop near or right underneath the parent tree, or roll down a steep slope, so in general dispersal is somewhat limited. Occasionally rodents may carry seeds short distances, and blue jays may disperse those seeds further. Trees begin seed production around 40 years of age, with best production after 60 years. Good seed crops are produced at two to eight year intervals, and seeds germinate the following spring. American beech nuts are an important wildlife food for a variety of birds and mammals. The nuts are eaten by mice, squirrels, chipmunks, black bear, deer, fox, ruffed grouse, ducks, and blue jays. It is one of the main nut producers in the northern hardwood forest. An American beech tends to hold on to its leaves longer than its forest associates, so it provides cover for birds in the winter. The bark is smooth and thin. It's light gray in color and resembles an elephant's hide. The bark doesn't change much as the tree ages and grows, and because the bark is thin, it is very vulnerable to damage from fire. American beech wood is typically a pale cream color, sometimes with a pink or a brown hue. Veneers tend to be slightly darker in color, as slicing the veneer usually requires the wood to be prepared with steam, which gives the wood a more golden tone. Flat sawn surfaces tend to be very plain, while quarter sawn surfaces exhibit a silvery fleck pattern. 
American beech wood is excellent for turning and steam bending. It's used for flooring, furniture, veneer, plywood, baskets, and even popsicle sticks. Smartwood USA in Corbin, Kentucky is one of the largest producers of food grade wooden sticks and they use locally sourced American beech. It is also used for charcoal and as a fuel wood due to its high density and good burning qualities. American beech is also tapped to make syrup and the beech nuts are edible and used in foods. The national champion American beech is in New Kent, Virginia. It's 224 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with a 110 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion is in Hart County. It's 164 inches in circumference, 143 feet tall, with a 100 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about American beech. Native cultures and early pioneers roasted and ate beech nuts. They also used them to make a coffee substitute. Pioneers used beech leaves to stuff their mattresses and beech ashes were used to make soap. Passenger pigeons before their extinction were among those species that ate beech nuts. The pigeons were known to converge upon beech groves in such large numbers that their weight would frequently break large limbs. The scientific genus named Phagus is from the Greek phagin, which means to eat, in reference to the edible nuts, and the species name Grandifolia refers to the grand foliage. Thank you for joining me to learn about this native tree. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the attractive American beach.